Early the next morning, Thomas and his friends waited for Spencer. Later that day, they could hear the sound of big engine coming next to them. It was Spencer. Thomas was concerned. I can't do this, Percy. Yes, you can, Thomas. You always tell us we can do whatever we want to. So can you? The tracks were clear for Spencer and Thomas, and both engines were coupled to their heavy loads. You will each take different tracks round the island. You may only stop for coal and water. And with that, Edward blew a long and loud whistle. The comest had begun. Thomas and Spencer puffed their pistons. Thomas puffed with a heave and huff. I'll show Thomas who's strong and who's weak. He'll puff home with a squeak and a creak. I can do it. I'll puff for longer. I'll show Spencer I really am stronger. All the engines were watching with faith. Then they all blew their whistles as a cheer for their friend. Good work, Thomas! Thomas and Spencer chuffed around the island. They clickety clack along the track. And they whooshed through hills. Thomas arrived at his first stop at the wharf. The Think Controller was waiting. You are to work with Duncan. You will bring lumber from the hills down to the wharf. And it's a very important job. Thomas wished a whiff of steam. He was disappointed. Not only this made him late, but Duncan was tricky. He liked to tease the big engines, especially Thomas. Duncan? Please look after Thomas. Mr. Percival says that because you mainline engines don't know the tracks in the hills. Yes, we do. Mr. Percival wants me to work with you because you little engines can only carry small loads. Duncan huffed crossly away. Later, at the transfer yards, Thomas was waiting for Duncan. Duncan puffed in. <laughs> Is that all the blocks you can pull? Spence is waiting for me. I can't wait for you all day, you know. That made Duncan cross. Thomas pumped his pistons. He was loaded with building blocks for the Dark and Duchess's summer house. Then Duncan had a cheeky idea. I can show you a quick way back to the wharf, but you have to go over Rolling River Bridge. It's very high. Thomas wasn't sure. You big engines aren't scared of high bridges, are you? No, we're not. I like high bridges. Please, show me the way to Rolling River Bridge, Duncan. So, the two engines steamed off. Thomas and Duncan chuffed up to the junction. Take this old track to the bridge. It's downhill from the other side, straight to the wharf. Thomas's signal turned green. Thank you, Duncan. And he puffed off. But Duncan didn't know the high bridge wasn't safe. It hadn't been used for a very long time. Thomas chuffed slowly toward the bridge. The bridge looked very old, and it was very high, and the ravine was very deep. Thomas could hear rocks falling into the ravine. He felt a little scared. I like high bridges, but this one is really high. If I chuff slowly, I'll reach the other side before I know it. Wheel turn by wheel turn, Thomas edged onto the bridge. I am brave and I am strong. I'll shove to Spencer. It won't take long. Thomas was now halfway across the bridge. The sound of the falling rocks was louder and louder. The bridge had started to shudder and shake. Thomas didn't like it at all, but he wanted to get to the other side. Then Thomas heard a mighty crack! 
part of the bridge in front of him came away from the rocks. Santos and Ashes! I must get back to safety! Then Thomas started to reverse. He puffed slowly and carefully. Then there was another mighty crack! A large piece of the broken bridge fell down into the ravine below. But the biggest puff he had ever huffed, Thomas pushed backwards onto the hillside. Huh! I'm safe! Just as the last part of the bridge groaned and swung over the deep ravine. Thomas peered down to the broken bridge below. Oh, flatten my funnel! Thomas puffed back to the junction. He saw there was another track. Maybe this track goes back to the main line. Thomas arrived at Gordon's Hill. He was hoping to catch Spencer. Ah, uh -huh. there he is! And indeed, Spencer steamed and smiled. He rest and he roared. Thomas chuffed to the hill. He heaved and hurled. Good day for Thomas. He's a fast-rate engine. <laughs> Silly little engine. When will he learn? You can do whatever you want to, and I want to win. Thomas chuffed slowly up the hill. He was huffing and panting. His exits are good. At last, he reached the top. Hooray! I did it! Then, there was trouble. There was a clicking and a clank. <gasps> Cinders and dashes! I've broken my brakes! Thomas has been started to whirl and to walk him. He flew faster and faster down the hill. flew all the way down to the bottom of the hill. Help! I can't stop! Thomas's heavy tracks pushed him on, and he through a junction where Spencer was waiting. Blistering oil! And into flatbeds of rain as sleepless oh, near the What happened? Thomas flew into all of his tracks. Stinky cheese flew in the air and landed in front of Billy's line. But he still went on and found himself rolling along an old river track. When Thomas saw a big load of bushes. Fenders and funnels! How can I stop? With a scrunch and a crunch, Thomas passed into the bushes and came to a stop. Flaming fireboxes! That was scary! Thomas looked around 